does, so, so you just beaten Dieter Hedman 4-3 in a great match for us. How does that feel? Oh, I'm so over the moon. It's untrue. Um, I played her a couple of weeks ago in Denmark and I was lucky enough to beat her on the floor. Um, but then we played each other in the semi-finals on the stage and she beat me 4-0, I think, and I don't even think I got a, du- a double. So, But she knows I can play darts because I played her on the floor and um, I think the 117 shot out did a lot of damage, um, mentally as it were, and uh, put her under pressure early doors. I don't know, but I'm, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> it must have given you a lot of confidence as well, Ross, to know that you can take out a finish of that that sort of like quality on that stage, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, some of the other darts were really scracky, but um, there were some good darts in between. I just felt quite nervous, and it was really hot up there. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm new. I'm so new. I, Dita's won a hundred and something odd titles. She's played God knows how many of the county matches. I've done 54, I think, and that's it. So the the, the level of experience is completely different. So um, I'm really pleased. I mean, how hard was it for you? I mean, like you miss you miss three darts to win the match 4-2, was it? And it goes to 3-3. How hard was it to blank that out of your mind for the deciding leg? It must have been very difficult. I think that was the old dreaded ten, double ten, wasn't it? Yes, I think. I yeah, you see, you know, it's not my fan. I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that I missed it. It's not my favourite double, but the end, at the end of the day, as long as you've got three darts and you keep going, and it's all about just keep going, just keep going until the bitter ends. And as long as you keep your head, you keep calm, you keep relaxed, you've still got a chance. So. When that seventh leg uh, got underway, there wasn't a part of you that thought, I should have already won this, I should be out of here. But you just... I you, had double ten left. <laughs> which you knew, which you, did, which you didn't fancy yourselves chances of getting. No, never. <laughs> I got more chances of double five, honestly, I'm rubbish at double ten. Um, uh, no, uh, you just keep going, you just keep going and um, you just take it down as uh, almost a, a bag leg just just keep going just uh, yeah just keep going I mean that was a great must have been a great experience for you then Ross to come through a match like that on the big big stage I mean I mean that, that's that's something to build on isn't it oh hugely hugely but I mean I didn't expect to be here in the first instance the the qualifiers was horrific the the amount of quality players that was in the the qualifiers was just absolutely horrific. Um, Casey Gallagher, um, Vicky Prune, they're, they're all really top quality players. And, you know, I had to get through that in the first instance. So I just took, you just take each game as it comes. And, and that's my, my attitude. Just take each one as it comes and we'll just keep going. I'm just being a little bit of a pest to everybody because that's what I want to do. Thank you for your time, Rose. Thank you for your time. Well done.